Hey everybody. Uh, maybe you noticed that I haven't uploaded in a little bit. Maybe you didn't, but I'm gonna talk about why that was. And uh, so, basically, just haven't been feeling so motivated to make videos. Kind of was seeing that my videos haven't been performing so well, and I was kind of starting to doubt myself and thinking like, eh, I don't really have any good ideas right now. Um, I don't think people are really like interested in watching my videos right now, so I'll just kind of take a break. And um, you know, mainly I was focusing on making music, which you know it's a good thing. I'm still obviously keeping myself busy for the most part, but even with that, I've been experiencing a kind of lack of motivation at times. And so I just want to talk about the ebb and flow of motivation and how you can navigate that how I've been trying to navigate that. Um, I'm also just kind of making this video <laughs> to speaking to myself as well, trying to motivate myself to um, to keep going with what I, you know, my routine and everything. Um, because yeah, like uh, even though I've been keeping myself busy doing like making my music and you know doing the stuff and, like the good habits and going to the gym and everything, it's it's still like I rarely feel super enthusiastic about it, even though it's like things that I'm pretty proud of the results when they you know when I make the music that I like or I go to the gym and I check out my physique and whatever whenever I have some sort of success or like see some of the results from the hard work I it's it's like it's kind of only then that I feel enthusiastic about doing the work but most of the time I don't even really feel like I, I you know I'm just using discipline discipline as my main tool for getting myself to do the things which you know it's it's good to use discipline but you do want motivation um, it's more powerful than discipline and so when you lack that everything just becomes so much more difficult right so how do you navigate lack of motivation how can you push through anyway is it even worth it should you take time off i'll talk about all that right so basically motivation will always come and go there will be periods in your life when you will be very motivated motivated right um even if things are maybe going wrong you'll still be motivated to keep going right but then there'll be times where like you just have no desire to no drive to uh do what you got to do I've just been experiencing that a lot, like, just bec mainly, I think, because it's summer. And, you know, usually you would be like, I, you know, I made that video about, like, don't relax in the summer, but, yeah, part of me always still wants to just, like, just watch TV and, like, you know, go to a pool or tan and, like, shit like that, right? Like, there's, there's still that part of me that wants to do stuff um, like that instead of having to do this monotonous routine every day of, of trying to produce results and do hard work. Even though I know that that's what objectively is the best thing to do and actually does make me feel the best, it's still hard to get myself to do that. Which is, you know, the, 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 the weird paradox about like um, motivation is that like you know, I, I rarely feel motivated to do things that I, I know I should do, but if I don't do them, and I just decide to, like, relax or whatever anyway, or if I, if I decide to relax instead of doing the things, right, like, I just feel worse anyway, right, like, I'm, I'm just focusing on, like, how I'm not doing the thing, um, instead of, like, enjoying the show, enjoying the food, enjoying the time off or whatever, so... You know, I've talked about these topics a lot. Like, there is there is a time and place for time off. And you have to find a line. Yada, yada, yada. But, you know, most of the time, there's probably not a reason for it. Um, so, I think the biggest thing that has helped me is, is finding some sort of way to stay accountable. Or to keep yourself accountable, hold yourself accountable for the things you need to do. And so I talked about it in the summer, don't relax in the summer videos, um, 
the timetable, making a timetable is very powerful. And I've, I've underestimated that tool um, since I made that video. I haven't used it every day. And on the days that I don't use it, I definitely am not as productive. I'm not as motivated to like stay on task, right? Even just the simple act of, of planning out the day and having it up on my laptop makes me more likely to do things you know even even though i i never like actually stay on schedule like i'm usually behind or like i decide like not to do something i'm still the net gain is still higher because like okay now that there's like words on the screen that are like keeping me accountable like i'm like staring at like my past selves like reminders to do things like you know what i mean um so i think finding ways to be to hold yourself accountable is going to be the most important thing i like i, I know a lot of people don't really do this but something that also helps is like having to keep your word like you tell somebody that you're going to do something once i tell somebody that i'm going to do something like it just makes me very very it m makes me much more likely to do that thing um because I, I get anxious, I'm like, oh, you know, maybe they'll get upset that, like, I didn't do the thing, or, like, you know, they'll think, like, less of me, or, like, you know, it'll just disappoint them, or, like, you know, I, I said that I was going to do the thing, I said that I was going to do this thing, um, so I'm just much more likely to do the thing um, when I tell somebody that I'm going to do it, or I have it written down in the timetable that I'm going to do it, so my, the biggest, I think, advice is to find ways to keep yourself accountable even just a simple act of like telling my mom like i'm gonna go to the gym today even if i'm like, like, like i have legs today i'm gonna do that after i film this video and like i really 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 don't want to do it <laughs> i hate legs but you know i already like was talking to my girlfriend about how i was gonna do legs so like if i was to not do legs i would i would be like you know, I, I'm sure she wouldn't really care, but I would just be like, I would just be like, oh, like, she's going to be disappointed in me. Like, I told her that I was going to do it. I was talking about it. I've spoken it out into the world. So now I just have to do it, right? And another thing that helps is just con constantly, like, reminding yourself of your place and where you want to be. Your situation and how you want it to be different. And... This, uh, this was kind of, this is going to seem kind of arbitrary, but I, this kind of realization struck me. I was watching this podcast, Lex Friedman and Paul Rosalie, they, they went into the Amazon jungle. Um, it was Lex's first time, but Paul Rosalie's like, if you don't know who he is, I don't really know who he, who he was until recently, but who he is until recently, but he is you know he has this organization called jungle keepers and they fight for the pr the preservation of amazon jungle and uh, species that are going and they're becoming endangered or near extinct right and uh, you know just trying to preserve the wildlife and um the nature the animals in the amazon jungle that's their mission and so he's very experienced he's been going to the jungle for like i don't know like 14 to 18 years probably i think he said something like that right Anyway, so I was watching, you should watch the podcast, it's like four hours long, but it's, it's crazy, like, the, the Amazon jungle is just like, wicked, man, it's crazy, um, so cool, um, but yeah, they were just talking about, like, all, all the different species in the, the Amazon, and like, you know, how hard it is to survive in the Amazon jungle, like, you know, even though we're like, very, um, What's the word? Resilient animals. Humans are very resilient animals and like capable of, you know, surviving under very tough, extreme conditions and like all this stuff. It's like the jungle will tear you apart. Weather in the jungle will tear you apart. Animals will, you know, they might attack you. Like, just, you know, all that. It's, it's just hard to survive in the wild, right? <clears throat> but the point is that. In a way, it was, like, a reminder to me that, like, um, 
like I would want to be doing something like that you know I, I want like to me like this is not real life you know like living the way that most of us do satisfied with like just being like at home like kind of distracting ourselves or like indulging in things um putting off work finding reasons to just be to just exist like that to me is not real life that to me is not enough which i've you know that's i've known that for a while that like i, I just want more than this but you know you forget it a lot of times because you 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 your primal brain wants like comfort and what's easy right but watching that podcast just kind of reminded me like oh shit like um i really need to like be working very hard to like have that kind of like wasp um i really need to be like working hard to like if i ever wanted to like do something meaningful like you know preserve the amazon jungle or just even like see the amazon jungle like you know i'm not gonna get there by like taking it slow and like putting off what i gotta do like in a way like you know making my music and like making these videos like that's all part of the effort to like do something great and experience like real life and the way that it's meant to be experienced like you know i see it as like i almost want to like eliminate a lot of the comfort in my life um and that would be like the best way to live in my opinion like yeah it's great that we like have everything that we need and more but is that really a good thing you know like and i'm kind of getting off track but what i'm what i mean to say is that like just make sure that you remind yourself that the situation that you want to that you're in is not the one that you want to be in and that's probably a, a, a big motivator to get you to like you know just like me pick up my guitar and like and like start playing music you know like it's like there, there's 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 some sort of like greater purpose out there for all of us and it's very easy i forget it every morning you know or i don't necessarily forget it but it, it becomes harder and harder to like um act on it because with every day it's harder and harder to like to work towards that because you, you know just start to burn out and like start to convince yourself that you don't really need to like do these things sorry i keep ripping um start to kind of convince yourself that like oh maybe i just want to live a normal life you know maybe i just want to get a job like maybe i just want to just like rot and you know it's just easier like yeah, it wouldn't be so bad right but no it probably would be pretty shitty um i want to see the amazon jungle you know i want to be a performing musician like I want I want to have everybody that I love close to me, and none of that's gonna happen if I don't stay on top of my shit, you know. So hold yourself accountable and and remind yourself of why you're doing this in the first place. Remind yourself of like how small of an animal you are and how much left there is in life, and that this is not real life right now. That there is so much more, and don't be satisfied with what you currently have. Like, don't necessarily, like, you know, you have everything that you need. I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't, like, be grateful or anything, but, you know, don't be satisfied with what you have in the sense that, like, don't sell yourself short and, like, convince yourself that you don't need to keep going in your routine. Like, even just doing this video now is making me feel a lot more motivated to, like, get back on making videos, get back on making my music, go to the gym and stuff. It's like, all right, well, now I'm kind of speaking this out to the world. Now I got to practice it, right? <clears throat> so yeah there is there is a place for taking some time off like I took some time off from making videos and now I'm back and um, you know I'll, I'll hopefully be making some better videos and like um, I'll, 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 I'll be more motivated to make the videos and because before I was kind of just like grinding them out like all right gotta get one out every day like not necessarily a super quality controlled, but now I'm starting to realize like maybe I'll put some more effort and space in between the videos that I upload and like 
anyway, um, yeah, just, if you're watching this video and you're experiencing a lack of motivation that, like I was, you know, I encourage you to just really dig deep and find the reasons to why you're doing everything in the first place, what it is that you value and that you are striving for, what you lack in terms of achievement and like in terms of the potential that you have fulfilled in yourself you know just keep going because yeah like it's it's not going to be easy after like a you know you'll be you'll be very motivated to start to like really do your big routine like your good routine like you'll probably be on it for a few days or like even a few weeks or whatever but then you're going to reach a point where you're going to hit a wall and like you're going to have to be relying on discipline and then that's going to run out and then you're going to like want to take some time off and but it's a slippery slope you know so i would just advise like really just be careful and like um so yeah, just remind yourself why you're doing this in the first place and once you can do that, you'll be much more motivated to, to continue to do it. So, yeah. Um, by the way, my yeah, I'm, I guess I guess I am growing a beard. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it looks fine. I don't know. Just kind of since I'm not really seeing many people, I just decided like, might as well write. Um, you probably think it looks gross. I don't know. But. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in the next video, alright, have a good day.